Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Christine, senior artist at Sephora in Century City here in Los Angeles, and I'm so excited to be here to show you my go-to date night makeup. Now I know Valentine's Day is right around the corner, so I hope you guys try this look out. It's really glowy, it's really bronzy, and I want it just to keep it, you know, romantic and flirty and fun, but I hope you guys try it out. Let's get started. All right, guys, so I'm going to start off my look by using Sunday Riley Flash Fix Kit. Now, this you can find at Beauty on the Fly, and it has a travel size version of Good Jeans and Ceramic Slip. So I'm going to take two pumps of Good Jeans, pop that onto the back of my hand with equal parts of Ceramic Slip. I'm going to mix the two around and apply it all over my face. I like to do this before any special occasion because the lactic acid is going to help exfoliate my skin and brighten and then the ceramic slip uh, cleanser is going to help detoxify. So this is perfect for any red carpet event, any special night out. It just really prepares your uh, skin for any makeup application. And then once I apply it, I'm gonna leave it on for 10 minutes and then wash it off with lukewarm water and pat dry. Now I'm gonna jump in with First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum. I really wanna focus on having a glowy complexion, so this product really works well with my skin. Now I'm gonna jump in to Sunday Riley Auto Correct Brightening and Depuffing Eye Contour Cream. I am obsessed with this. It has caffeine in it, so that is gonna help with my dark circles, and it's also going to depuff and brighten my under eyes. It feels great, it's really lightweight, and it works great underneath my concealer. So uh, now I'm going to uh, apply moisturizer using La Mer the Moisturizing Soft Cream. I just use a very tiny amount, put it in the back of my hand. Now with the soft cream, you don't really have to warm it up. Um, just massage it into the skin. I like to press and then I will massage all over. And as you can see, it is just gliding on like a dream. Now I'm going to jump straight into my base and I'm going to use the new NARS foundation, which is a natural radiant longwear foundation in colors Punjab and Stromboli. Now you're probably wondering why I'm using two. Okay, so Stromboli is my summer color. Punjab is my winter color. So I like to mix and match. I can really control um, the warmth of the foundation depending on, you know, what time of the year it is. And so I actually, for this application, I use equal parts, just mix the two, and then I'm going to apply using my number 56 brush by Sephora Collection all over my face. And then I'm gonna use a beauty blender just to make sure that it's nice and blended and it's gonna pick up any excess that I have. This foundation is so gorgeous. It really does give you a luminous finish. Again, I want dewy, I want glow for this date night. I'm probably gonna go to dinner. It's gonna be dim lighting, so I wanna make sure that in that dim light, you're able to see my glow. Now after my complexion, I'm gonna go back in with NARS with their Radiant Creamy Concealer, again in two colors, you guys, using Ginger and Canal. I like to use Ginger just as a all over concealer because it's very close to my skin tone and then a lighter concealer just to brighten up a little bit. I'll pop it underneath my eyes, around my nose, my chin, my forehead. I really like to give myself a diamond shape to my face and really push the center of my face outwards. And after I do that, I'm gonna go in with Canel and I'm just gonna apply that right over ginger, but underneath my eyes, I'll just keep it more so on the tops of my cheeks because I really want that to be pronounced. I look like a tiger, rare. No, that's a cat. Now I'm going in with my Beauty Blender. I love this color, it's brand new. Her name is Chill. And I'm just going to take Chill and I'm just gonna bounce her all over my face. And this really helps blend out and again, pick up any excess. And I do have eczema around my eyes, so that's why I don't like to use primer because I find that it's a little too harsh. Um, so whatever excess that I have on my Beauty Blender, I'll just pop over my eyes and that will just prepare me for any um, eyeshadow application. Okay, now on to the fun part, my eyebrows. Anastasia of Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the color medium brown. First, I'll start off with brushing whatever eyebrow hairs that I have left upwards, up and out. And then I'll just start filling them in. So I won't start at the very front. I'll kind of pull back just like a quarter way in. And I like to cut underneath first. Now, the reason I do that is because I have a ton of lid space. As you can see, I have sparse eyebrows. 
I said this once before. I'm going to say it again. I made the mistake and I overplucked when I was younger. So I have to use multiple products to create dimension and fullness. If I were to do eyebrows on someone who is sparse and had very minimal lid space, I would start on top because I'm trying to create a lift. But for me, I have a lot of lid space, so I'm going to start on the bottom because I really want to close that off. So once I go underneath, I'm going to go on top to follow the same shape, give myself an arch, and then pull it down and connect on the bottom. And when I get to the front, I'll pull it inwards so that I don't have um, harshness in the very front. And you'll see me blend, blend, blend constantly because I don't want um, a collection of products. I don't want it to look too bold because if it's too bold, I'll look mean and I don't want to look that way. So I'm going to create the same shape on my other eyebrow. Be sure that you're doing really, really light strokes and you're building. Pretend as though like you're drawing on every stroke of hair and that's how you're going to get to that wispiness, that light texture. So I have blonde hair right now. I have been lightening it for the past two years, um, which means I've changed my eyebrow color choice um, pretty frequently. Now, right now I'm using medium brown because it is more of a cooler tone to it. Um, I don't want anything too warm because it's going to just be too matchy matchy. Um, I find that when you have light hair, uh, you want to go two shades darker than your hair just to have balance. Um, if you have dark hair, it's always nice to go two shades lighter. Again, just for balance, just for an overall um, color harmony. But of course, to each their own. Um, it is a personal preference, I guess. Uh, whatever you feel comfortable with and whatever you feel really works with um, your skin tone, your hair color, um, and your eye color as well. Now to create texture and dimensions, I'm going to go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo, again in the color medium brown. Now there's two shades on here. You want to use a light shade in the center of your eyebrows and then use the darker toward the tail end. Now what I like to do when I get in the middle, I'll actually mix the two and then I'll apply it right in the middle so it's kind of like a trio. Um, so I'll use the Sephora Collection Pro number 22 brush. This is the angled liner brush. I really love this because it will um, just apply a very light uh, layer of product and I'm just going to lightly push that powder into my eyebrows. Again, I don't want to move what's underneath. I don't want to press too hard. Yeah, and when you're doing your eyebrows, you guys always take a step back because it's so easy to get lost with a mirror in front of you and you'll lose that balance, that symmetry. So I always like to tell my artists this when I'm in store is always step away, step back, assess from afar and see where you need to add more or take away. It really does help you guys. So now I'm going to go with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Ginger with my number 52 brush. And I like to apply this underneath my uh, eyebrow, right on my brow bone to just make it more prominent, just push out. If you guys ever look at me from like my perif, you can see that like my eyes are kind of flat. This will help highlight my brow bone and have it push forward when you're looking straight on at me. And then I'm going to grab Chill again and blend that concealer onto my eyelids. So to set my eyebrows, I'm going in with Benefit Cosmetics 3D Brow Tones. It's instant color highlights. And this is light medium. Um, again, our hair naturally has highlights. I colored my hair, so I want to color my eyebrows. And I'm going to brush them up and oh, look at what it does. It just makes them uh, nice and textured and I really want that feathery look. Now to set that concealer on my eyelids, I'm going in with Laura Mercier. This is her translucent setting powder. And I'm just going to use my Sephora Collection Pro 27 brush and just lightly dust this all over my eyelids just to set it before any eyeshadow application. Yay! And on to... Dun, 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 Pretty Vulgar's Early Bird Eyeshadow Palette. I'm obsessed with this, you guys. You can use it both wet and dry. All right, on to my first color. So this is Rise from my palette. Going in with my number 27 brush, and I am going to apply this into my crease. Now, I don't really have a crease, as you can see. So I will tilt slightly back, and you'll see a shadow uh, on my eyelid, and that's where I'm going to apply it. Now, I'm not being super precise with this. I'm again trying to create that crease and this first color is gonna be my transition color and it's going to allow all my other shadows to look nicely blended and diffused now it might not seem like a lot but 
I promise you this makes a world of a difference starting off with that lighter shade first. You always want to start light and then to darkest. Now on to my second shade is Nest Egg. Again, back in with my number 27 brush, I'm going to start this in the outer parts of my eye and working my way into Rise. And I'm going to pull this out because I really want to elongate my eye. And I'm just going to blend back and forth. I don't want to go past where I applied Rise because I'm trying to create that depth. I really want to pull back and create that crease. Now I'm going to grab a smaller brush. This is Sephora Collection number 18. This is my Ride or Die. I love this brush for honestly everything. Um, I like how small and compact it is. I'm just going to pick up nest egg and I'm just going to pop that into the inner corner. Okay, now I don't really have tons of dimension. I don't have that pronounced crease, so I have to fake it to make it, you guys. So uh, I'm going in and I'm just going to tap that in, blend it upwards and inwards, and it's going to just make my center part of my eyelid really pop out. Um, and it's really flattering for my eye shape. And I like to just blend it out with my number 27 brush, as you can see here. Just, again, no harsh lines, nice and diffuse. I'm going out on a date. Victory! All right, so Victory is now going to go on top of Nest Egg. Again, creating that depth, really giving me um, some shadow, some dimension. And as you can see here, it's just, oh, it's so blended. It's beautiful. Just tapping that bad boy in with my number 18 brush. All right, grabbing Victory again, just popping into the inner corner. I want to make sure what goes on one side goes on the other side, just creating that, that balance. And, of course, 27 is going to be right next to me because she's going to blend everything out, make everything nice and diffused. I really want this makeup to be pretty. I don't want any harsh lines. So light layers build slowly but surely. You're going to get there. Again, be patient, okay? You're trying to look cute. It's date night, right? I'm going in with Shine with my Sephora Collection Pro number 15, and I am just going to tap that right into the center of my eye, and ooh la la, look at that. I'm popping, and I'm just going to blend that into my other shadows. I'm actually going to pull it up like slightly above my crease because I really want to show that dimension there. I, I don't want it to keep it on my lid because it's actually going to close my eyes. Again, I have small eyes. I want to open them up. And at the end, just make everything all cohesive. I will go in with Rise and Nest Egg mixed together um, with my 27 brush. And I'm just going to go back and forth. Like I'm going to start on one corner where that darkness is and I'm just going to pull it back and forth right above my crease. Just make everything nice and blended. So on to my Marc Jacobs Beauty Highliner Gel Eye Crayon Eyeliner in the color Blacker. And I'm going to tight line with this. So little trick, you guys. Hold your mirror down. Look up. Make sure that eyelid is flat and look away from where your pencil is going that way you don't poke yourself in the eye it's a natural body reaction to blink and to freak out when something's coming at you so look away opposite direction at all times it really does help now i am going in with sephora collection colorful waterproof eyeliner in number three morning mocha i'm obsessed with this um, it's a liquid eyeliner but it's like this really warm brown and it dries matte um, shout out to lucy from my store for really inspiring me and in using this i cannot get enough of this i'm going to start off on my outer edge and i'm just going to flick it towards my or towards the end of my eyebrow there and that's going to be uh, the placement uh, of my flick and then once i do that i'm just going to go into the inner corner and i'm going to pull it out and then when i get back to my flick i'm actually going to match that tip of my brush onto the end of that flick and I'm going to pull it horizontally and that's going to give me a nice um, wing right there as you can see bam check it out she cute and then if you you know pull it too far down or if that flick is too high go back in with your concealer and clean it up it's actually really nice to have that contrast from light to dark it really makes that um, wing really defined okay hey work it girl all right, now we're going to try to match the other side. Again, just breathe through this. Don't rush it. Take your time. You really want this to be as symmetrical as possible. Just position yourself. I know I look crazy. My arms are crossed, but it really does help you guys. Make sure that it's balanced and that the wings are going the right direction. Feel yourself out, girl. Feel it. Yes. 
All right, so back onto my number 18 brush and I am going back in with nest egg. And now I am going to give shape underneath my eyes. Again, you guys, my eyes protrude forward. It pushes out. So using that dark shadow is really going to help pull them in. Give me some shape. Make me look nice and sultry and romantic. And I love this trick. If you ever just want a little dimension on the eyes, even if you wear mascara, just put on a little bit of brown shadow underneath. Back in again with Marc Jacobs Beauty Highlighter Gel Eye Crayon Eyeliner in the color Brownout. Obsessed with this color. It's brown, duh, like the name. But there is like glitter pigment in it. Totally safe for the eye, I promise you guys. But this is going to reflect light when I'm out on my date. Again, dim lighting, whatever it is. I want there to be lots of light, a lot of shimmer, a lot of reflection. So I'm just going to go in my waterline and I'm actually going to pull it into my lash line because I really want it to be um, diffused in there and after I apply it I'm going to blend it out with my number 18 brush no harsh lines you guys all right back at it again with that NARS creamy concealer and this color is actually canal I really want to highlight as my last video I like to layer all of my concealers I really want that brightness I really want full coverage i want to conceal i want everything to pop out so i'm just going to apply this underneath my eyes and i'm going to grab chill i'm going to blend it out same thing on my nose i'm going to actually save that for last because i want to slightly set because i really want that pronounced bridge that i am missing so i have to create <laughs> look at that brightness yes so now I'm going to bronze myself. So going in with Guerlain Terracotta Bronzing Powder number 7 to give myself a bronzed glow. Starting off at my forehead. And I'm just going to blend it into my hairline and into the center there. I want the center to pop, but I want the outer edges to be slightly darker just to give dimension. Um, this number 59 brush really helps me with that because I'm applying and blending at the same time. And for this one, uh, when I go onto my cheeks, I will use just the very tip of the brush just to give me a nice shape and then blend it out. I don't like to make too many faces when I do my cheeks. If I make a fishy face, it actually pulls my face down. So I'll just kind of pout my lips a little bit just so I can see my cheekbones. And that's where I'm going to apply the product. All right, guys, just make sure you blend, 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 blend. No one wants to see where you applied your bronzer. Now I'm going to set my under eyes with Makeup Forever Artist Face Color Highlight Sculpt and Blush Powder in the color H104, which is that light pinkier shade right there. And I'm just going to tap that in with a number 79 brush, and I'm just going to tap underneath my eyes. I don't want to move my concealer, and I just want to create uh, this, this brightness. So I'm just going to tap, tap, tap underneath my eyes and up my cheekbone. Again, I really want that center part of my face to pop out. Now I'm going to go in with that same palette in the color H108, which is a warmer undertone. And I'm going to use this on my forehead. And I'm just, again, tapping motions. I didn't want to use the pink because I think it might have been too bright for that area. So I want there to be balance. Um, and I'm just going to blend that into my bronzer. Um, down my nose as well. Just want to make sure I don't get too shiny around there. And I'm just going to tap so I don't move my foundation or concealer. And I'm going to grab that same color and I'm going to apply it underneath my bronzer just to clean up, just to have some highlight right there. So um, again, I'm just trying to create dimension on my face. Now for a little bit more depth, back in with that palette in the color S116. Same brush, you guys, and I'm just going to apply that onto the backs of my cheeks. Now I used this brush for all three colors, but on my lap, I actually have a towel and I'm just slightly wiping it off so that um, I'm not transferring any color at all. And now for the glow onto Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder Compact in Highlight 01. This is a tried and true for me. I've had this powder forever. Um, and I haven't hit pan yet. A little goes a long way with this. And I'm going to use my number 98 brush. And I'm just going to tap that right onto the tops of my cheekbones. And it's really going to give me a lot of light. And it's going to push forward. And it's just oh so pretty. Look at that. I like to apply it right above the arch of my eyebrow. That is going to really lift it. Or give the illusion of a little lift there. And again, same thing on the other side. And I'm going to apply this right down the center of my nose. I don't want to apply it to the tip because that already on its own naturally gets oily. And then I'm just going to grab 
that same product, no extra product, and I'm just gonna apply it on my Cupid's bow just to make it a little bit more pronounced. And it wasn't really giving me that pop that I was looking for, so you'll see me just kind of press that product in, and as you can see, it really made my cheeks pop. Now going on to my cheeks, going in with a Marc Jacobs Beauty Air Blush Soft Glow Duo in the color 506 Flesh and Fantasy. I love this because there's two different colors in there. I'm actually just going to mix the two together. And it's a very nudey, natural blush color. I don't want too much on my cheeks. Again, I just want this to be more of like a glowy, bronzy, romantic look. So I don't want uh, too much attention on my cheekbones there. And this will actually help marry the highlight and the bronzer together. So to finish off my look, I'm going in with Sephora Collection False Eyelashes, and this is the shape of Fringe, number four, and I'm just going to use my glue, and I'm just going to use my tweezers because I've got claws on right now, and I'm going to actually set that in the center of my eye, and then I'm going to pop the outer edges in. I find that's the easiest for me, at least, um, just setting it in the center and then just kind of pushing the, the corners in. If you have any glue buildup or if you put too much don't be scared grab a cotton swab and just lightly brush that off it also kind of pushes the lashes into your real lashes so it really just helps it make it more seamless now just to marry my lashes together i'm going to go in with Too faced better than sex waterproof mascara and i'm just gonna put on mascara make them more seamless and again, you guys, what goes up must come down. I'm going to pop that underneath and I'm just going to wiggle it back and forth. No clumps though, just a light application. So on to my lips, you guys. This is Makeup Forever Aqua Lip Waterproof Lip Liner Pencil in uh, the color 3C. It's honestly one of my favorite lip liners. I always have one in my bag there's one at home there's one in my car it's just everywhere it's a perfect neutral lip liner again going with that whole soft romantic look so i don't want anything too dark too deep too harsh i want it to be really soft diffused um kind of flirty right i'm just gonna apply that on my lip line and i'm gonna slightly blend it in with the brush as well and my bottom lip is actually fuller than my top lip, so you'll notice that I like to overdraw slightly on the top outer edges just to give balance to my lips. And the lipstick that I am going to use today is by Tom Ford, Ultra Rich Lip Color in Revolve Around Me. And I'm just going to tap that onto my lips. I like tapping it in as opposed to swiping it because it's going to prolong my lipstick. And it's going to make it last longer, and I just like the look of it when I tap it in. It's like my most favorite nude ever, you guys. Do you like it? Let me know. If you don't, hey, give me some dupes. And just to blend everything together, I'm just going to go back in with 3C, reapply again, just to make everything cohesive. And again, guys, I really want that texture on my skin. I really want that shine. So this is Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Gloss Balm Universal Lip Luminizer. And I'm just going to tap this in. I don't want to move the product on my lips, so... This really helps just kind of keep everything in place. And then just so that there's not a lot of buildup of gloss, I'll just use my finger just to blend, blend, blend. It'll pick up any excess as well. Now on to my hair, you guys. This is by Bumble and Bumble BB Preta Powder Tray Invisible Dry Shampoo with French Pink Clay. It's going to absorb any oil, any residue, any moisture in my roots. I have fine hair, so it gets oily really fast fast and the french pink clay is just going to pick that all up make it nice and soft and then once i'm done with that i'm going to go in with the bumble and bumble thickening dry sponge finish volume spray legit you guys i'm on like my i don't know maybe 10th bottle right now i buy this all the time i cannot live without it it just it gives those perfect like airy texture to your hair it doesn't weigh it down it's movable and uh in the middle of the night, if you feel like your hair is a little flat, you can just run your fingers through it and just zhuzh it up and it will stay. Now to finish off my look, I'm going in with Stella McCartney, Stella Peony. And I'm just going to pop that on my neck because if he hugs me, I want him to smell it. 
I want it on my wrist because it's just so delicate and it just smells great. I want to smell it myself everywhere. So there you guys have it. That is my go-to date night makeup. I hope you guys learned something new and try it out. If you have any comments, definitely drop it below. Like and subscribe to our channel. If you want to come visit me and talk shop, I am at the Sephora in Century City. And if you want to follow me on any of my social media, my name is Christine Nataya. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.